In this tutorial, we're going to talk about utilizing the Doors and Cabinets animation tool when dealing with a model with a large number of moving components. This is a kitchen design, and as you can see, it has multiple cabinets and drawers that we need to animate. From the Interactions menu, select Doors and Cabinets Animation. Go to the Cabinets tab, but instead of having Component Type set to Object Selection, switch it to Object Name. The Object Name method requires you to specify the name, the panel, and the handle. If you were to look at the Object Tree, you will see that the Cabinets panel are named Left Cabinet and the handles are named Handle. Some other panels are named cabinets, but still they have the word cabinet in common, which is what we're going to use to identify the cabinets in the scene. Under cabinet panel, type in cabinet, and under cabinet handle, type in handle. Now click on detect components. Notice that SimLab Composer has automatically detected all the cabinets in the scene and paired them with the matching handle. Let's move to the top and bottom cabinets. This one is named Bottom Pole, with the handle named Handle. And the other one named Top Pole, with the handle also named Handle. Switch to the Top and Bottom Cabinet tab, and under the object name, type in Pull and Handle, then click Detect Components. Lastly, we move to the drawers, and as you can see, they are all named drawers and has a number after that, and all the handles they have are named handle. Select the drawer tab and set the type to object name, then under drawer type in drawer and under drawer handle type in handle, then click on detect components. Now that everything is set, click next. In the setting dialog, you can determine whether to send the animation to the timeline to view it or combine it with a different animation. You also have the option to create an animation sequence that can be used in VR or 3D PDF files. You also can create a reversed version of the animation to set the object back to its initial form. And finally the option to attach the animation sequences as actions to the object. Click Generate Animation. Once the generation is complete, you can go to the Animation tab and view the animation. If you were to select an object and go one level up in the hierarchy, you will see that a multi-action has been assigned to the object, and if you were to click on the action list, you will see an animation sequence and a reversed version of it there. To view the scene in VR, set a starting position from the SimLab VR Viewer menu. Then from the same menu, Select Show in Viewer to run the VR experience. Click Virtual Reality if you have a VR headset, or Desktop if you want to view it in Desktop mode. 